I'm not sure what happened. The game just quit on me, so we're going to try again. Hopefully, it'll pick up. Right here. Should have saved it when I got to the top. I'm not sure why the game just crashed on me like that. I played this game all the way through before, so I don't know why it, why it crashed on me. Alexander arrives at the top of the cliffs, somewhat winded after his long but uneventful climb. Alexander puts the strand of hair into the skull. Alexander cracks the spoiled the spoiled egg. Alexander's creature of night to me succumb. Fire and brimstone leave thee numb. Purity bind thee like a chain to do whate'er I now ordain. Nightmare flares her nostril. That's it. Unable to resist. Now ride. Working now. That was weird. Nightmare deposits Alexander on a strange, cold world. And some of the inhabitants don't look too friendly. Who are you, grieving spirits? I am Queen Ilaria of the land of the Green Isles. And this beloved spirit is my husband, King Califam. We were murdered in our beds by our trusted wizier. Like a viper, he snuck in during the night and stabbed us in our sleep. Now my husband's soul is broken, and he will not speak. Then you are the ones I seek. Are you not the parents of Princess Cosima? Our daughter! Have you news of the princess? I know that she is alive and safely back in her kingdom after being rescued from Mordak. But I'm afraid I have not personally seen her. Alhazred is keeping her in her room in mourning for you. I am glad to hear of her return, but she will not be safe alone with that devil. Oh, that we could be there to protect her. Kasima, how I fail thee. My poor husband will never rest while our murder goes unavenged and our daughter is in danger. I came to take you back with me. Your people are still loyal to you. They need to know about the Wazir. Kasima needs you too. But this is the realm of the dead. We cannot leave it. Nor for Wanna that bet? matter can you. Wanna bet? The only one who might be able to return us all to the land of the living is the Lord of the Dead. But he would never help us. He has no mercy. I might be able to convince him. I must try. Then take this. It is my ticket to the underworld. There you will find the Lord of the Dead. I cannot use the ticket as long as I'm chained here. And if we cannot be avenged... I will never be unchained. Thank you. Perhaps it will save us all. The game since I arrived, now we're getting crushed again. Be careful, young man. If you can ease my husband's torment and help our daughter, we will be most grateful. I will. The spirit of Why do you not rest, sad spirit? Rest? I cannot rest. My son is lost. Lost? You mean in this realm? No. His spirit is stuck in the land of the living. 
probably looking for me. But I cannot leave to go show him the way. My poor Ali. Is there anything I can do? Take this handkerchief. If you get back to the land of the living and find him, tell him that his mother is waiting for him here. By this kiss, he'll be able to find his way to the realm of the dead. I'll do my best to find him. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my Ali. The skeleton to the left of the path hands something to the spirits that approach the underworld entrance. Take it, please. Next. Alexander picks up the two bones on the ground. Now what do these bones remind him of? Ah, yes. Now I remember. The skeletons are overcome with the musical call of the bones. They begin to... Don't want to get nailed for copyright music. This goes on for longer than you'd think. Alexander finishes his tune, and the skeletons resume their posts. Despite their frolic, they don't seem any friendlier. Alexander picks up the skeleton key. Ticket. I have a ticket. Oh, on. Next. Apparently, Alexander's not the only one who's curious about the body on the path. Alexander takes the knight's black gauntlet and examines the writing on it. Flesh may cross the portal and seek its master, death. Flesh may go where death is trod and challenge, like Scheherazade, he who reigns beneath the sod to spare a mortal's breath. Zounds! That sounds serious. Alexander scoops a little of the river sticks into the teacup with the swamp ooze being careful not to get any of the black water on his skin. Will these coins do as fare for passage? <laughs> Charon accepts the fare and waves Alexander onto the boat. Halfway through the realm of the dead.
Alexander reaches out to open the gate. Suddenly, the wood trembles beneath his fingertips. Yikes. That's not what scary at all. What touch has awakened my sleep? I smell the blood of a mortal. Reach out thine hand again, fleshy human, that I might devour it. Despite his fear, Alexander summons his bravest voice to command the living gate. I would pass, gate. I have business with your master. My master and thine, human. I would be pleased to introduce thee. Only step forward and thou shalt meet him shortly. No, thank you. I come to meet the Lord of the Dead with my flesh still intact. And why should I let you past, human, when I would much rather eat you? I have been told that there is a way for humans to enter Death's realm. There must be something I can do. Some task that will allow me to pass through your doors, Gate. Hmm. I seem to recall something, a trick, uh, perhaps um, a test. Mm. Ah, yes. Should a human try to pass, a riddle is Gates won't to ask. <clears throat> a riddle it is, then. And if thou wouldst fail to answer, Gate, his thirsty jaws will be thy fate. Agreed. Listen as though it meant thy life then, human. Let's for it scrap a paper on the spider's web comes back in. My first is foremost legally. My second circles outwardly. My third leads all in victory. My fourth twice ends a nominee. My whole is this gate's only key. My first is foremost legally. My second circles outwardly. My third leads all in vic- The answer is love. Ah, thou traitor of the mortal plane, how didst thou guess love? That riddle should never have been solved. Love is unknown in this realm. Love cannot be banished, even from this place. There are spirits Truth. still pining of it on the surface above. Still less can Love it be banished from my heart. Enough! Burden me not with thy poetry. Pass through, and quickly, before I change my mind. Alexander can't talk to the Lord. Alexander approaches the throne of the Lord of the Dead. Why have you entered my domain, still wearing your flesh? If you are so anxious for death, you might have found it easily enough in the land of the living. Nope. But since you are here, you are most welcome to stay. Kiss my hand, and you will be one with the spirits. There will be no pain. Well, thanks. I did not come here to die, but to demand my right of challenge. I respectfully challenge thee, death, by throwing down this gauntlet. Man may pass the portal, and seek its master, Death. Man may pass where Death has trod, and challenge like Scheherazade, he who reigns beneath the sod, to spare a mortal's breath. He has the gauntlet! Impossible! He challenges Death. That could have come across better. Who are you to challenge Death? A man of flesh is all I need to be, my lord. 
And what is it that you seek with this challenge? The soul of some dead maiden? I seek the souls of King Califim and Queen Alaria, the land of the Green Isles. You would save two human souls and emerge alive from this realm yourself? Yep. That shall be a difficult challenge indeed. The tomb does not open its doors lightly. Either all three of us leave, or none go. Very well. Then let me think of an appropriate task. Ah, yes, I have it now. Your challenge is this. For thousands of years, I have sat upon this throne. I have heard every sad tale that can be told by human lips. I have seen tragedies that ended empires, injustices that defy reason, love that would like the very stars turn cold and hard. I have seen torments that cannot possibly be born, and yet must be for centuries. This thing I have never done. I have never shed a tear. Make me cry, thou man of flesh. That is my challenge. Okay. Make death cry? Sooner could he turn sea to stone, or fire to ice. I got this, people. Quiet down. Quiet down, I got this. If your existence has been all that you say it has, then truth alone shall be my sword. The mirror's surface swirls with darkness for a moment, then fills with images even blacker. Reflections of despair, of wailing souls, of shackles colder and more immutable than any forged by man, of a world of thirsts that can never be quenched. Alexander feels the mirror tremble in his grasp and is glad that he cannot see its face. But the Lord of the Dead is transfixed to the mirror, to the screening of his life. Things long forgotten are once more uncovered. His enslavement to this throne while still a man, the years of watching misery and horror and growing ever more numb to it, the seep of his own humanity, system. the slow growth of a new thing altogether which became that which he is now. His is an existence that has no possibility of redemption, no end. The surrounding spirits draw away in pain. The truth is so sharp it stabs, so intense it sears. Ah. Take it away. Make it stop. <sighs> Sorry. Oh! Seven years, bad luck. The mirror of truth cracks from the strain, and death sheds a single gray tear. Truth is indeed a terrible thing. I have worn this mantle for so long, I had forgotten its dreadful weight. You shall take the souls and leave as I agreed. You have been granted to stay from this inevitable reality. I almost envy you. Find the souls he has claimed and bring them to me. King Calafim and Queen Alaria, I presume. Your hero has won you a few more years of mortality. May your souls be more prepared for their rest when you return. Thank you, my lord. I hope that they will. And you, man of flesh. My steed shall take the three of you back to the land of the living. Tell her where it is you wish to go. Until we meet again, then, I assure you, 
We will meet again. No offense, my lord, but I hope that will be many long years from now. It is never as long as you might wish, mortal. Now, be gone. Yes, my lord. We go. Are you coming, Majesty? Al Hazred's treachery must be handled carefully, Alexander. Alari and I must go gather our allies and form a plan. Watch over Kasima. Make sure she comes to no harm. We will return as soon as we can to take back all that has been stolen from us. I will keep her safe until your return. Thank you, son. Your love for our daughter must be deep indeed for you to have undertaken death itself for our sakes. Indeed. May we succeed in what awaits us and live long together as a family. <sighs> Goodness. Oh, sorry. I don't need to be yawning. Just getting my bed done. I'm so close to finishing the game. Where's the rose? Alright, you stand still. There's no reason. Alexander holds out the rose, hoping that the bird will deliver it to Cosima. The nightingale takes the rose and heads for the castle once more. A white rose. How beautiful. It must be from Alexander. <gasps> how I wish that I could see him with my own eyes. But Abdul will never allow it. He only risks capture by sending me these things. Dear to my heart though they are. Fly elsewhere, my pretty friend. Do not endanger Prince Alexander again by taking tokens from his hand. Forgive me, Alexander. And forget me. I nope. cannot return your love, yes, for you fear can. that I shall never leave this castle again. Alexander waits in vain for Cosima's nightingale to return, but the bird does not. Could there be something wrong? Or does Cosima yeah. simply not welcome his attentions further? She does. I'll be there in a minute, Genie. Don't go away, or Genie Trader. Lamp Trader. Goodness gracious, you're not the Genie. Good day, Prince Alexander. <laughs> what is in the box? Try to trade it in for the last item. Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex. Please, choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Alexander looks closely at the items on the counter to make his selection. I think I'd like the painter's brush. Very good, Prince Alex. The painter's brush it is. May your painting go well. Feel free to bring back the brush at any time. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. It's time to fool the genie. Alexander suddenly gets a very sneaky idea. I can't go on anymore. Without Cosima, I'd just rather not live. Prince Alex, no! It's true. The Wazir has beaten me. I give up. Poison is my last resort. Stop. I am... no... more. Oh, what a waste. The poor young fool. He's dead. He's dead. Wait until Abdul hears. He'll be so pleased. <coughs> I told you. 
told you not to pop in like that. You can learn to knock like everybody else. Sorry, Master. I couldn't help myself. I have great news. Well, what is it? Prince Alexander is dead! He killed himself in despair over losing Cosima. <laughs> what? Are you positive? That young man has proven to be most devious. Truth. I saw the whole thing myself, Master. He was really and truly quite dead. Hmm. If what you say is true, it shall be most convenient. You've spent enough time on that little irritant. We must start thinking about the wedding. Anything, Master? Oh, I do love weddings. Well, we do want you to look your prettiest, don't we? Now, Shamir Shamazel, to the lamp with you. Prepare yourself as we discussed. <clears throat> Ow. Alexander's heart lurches to life in his chest. <laughs> Prince Alex! But you... you were... Sorry, friend. I was doing a little acting, I'm afraid. Ah, of course, the strange cloaked man. You are quite clever, and a bit too exciting for an old man. <laughs> Go get a good look at Genie Lamp. Excuse me, Peddler, but I have an old lamp that might interest you. Ah, an old lamp. And what a nice traditional design, too. Take your pick of my new lamps. I need this one. Ah, a fine choice, my son. Here is your new lamp. Good day, and I thank you, sir. Good day. Dread, another dud. Huh. Well, you knew how close you were. Alright, let's go. Time to sneak into the castle! Imagine how he gets he can walk right by the guards and they don't seem to care. Alexander dips the large black feather into the teacup and stirs the contents gently. To his amazement, the jet black color of the feather slowly drains from end to tip into the teacup. The teacup mixture blackens and thickens to a paint-like consistency. Alexander carefully puts it away, discarding the drained feather. Ain't done yet. It's Feeling artistically inspired, Alexander decides to make use of the large blank castle wall. Ah, a doorway. Just what Alexander was thinking this wall needed. Alexander is carrying a book from the... Okay, okay. Magic paint. There With we go. trepidation, Alexander gathers his strength for the enchantment of the painted door. Magic paint, black as ink, bring to life what I think. 
Make it real what I draw, according... The spell Whoa. worked. The me. door has magically solidified. Okay, save the game. And here we go. Eager to be inside the castle at last, Alexander opens the enchanted door and steps inside. Oh, wait, we're ready. The magic paint door fades back into the wall. So much for an easy exit. This is the smallest door, this one. Alexander opens the dungeon door and... Mother? Mother, where are you? What's the matter, little boy? I'm lost. I can't find my mother. I don't know why she would just leave me here. I've been alone ever so long. You must be the son of the spirit I met in the realm of the dead. She gave me this handkerchief and asked me to tell you that she's waiting for you there. It's Mama's! It even smells like her. I can feel her now. I know where to go. Wait. Before you go, is there anything you can tell me about the castle? I like to play in secret places. In the basement behind the Man of Steel is a door. Nobody except me knows <laughs> it's there anymore. Farewell. Bye. Okay, save the game. Cause we don't wanna get caught. So. Alexander decides to find out what's on the other side of that door. Prince Alexander, I can't believe it! How did you get into the castle? Well, I... Actually, it's a little hard to explain. I bet. <laughs> you run the terrible risk of being here, though. The castle is crawling with guard dogs, especially today. The Wazir will have your hide if he finds you. I know that, Jallo. But Kasima is being married today. What greater risk is there than that? Of course you're right. Young love. <laughs> I forgot what heartburn it is. But what are you supposed to do about it? I've got to try to see her. Maybe even stop the wedding. Is that all? And here I thought you would try something dangerous. <sighs> Don't worry about me, friend. Just tell me, where is Kasima? As far as I know, she's still in her bedroom upstairs. You'd never make it up there, though. The guard dogs are everywhere, and they're very loyal to the crown. Unfortunately, right now the crown means El Hazred. If we had proof of something truly afoul, the guard dogs might listen. As it is, they're your enemies, not his. I understand. I've had no lack of enemies since I got here. In fact, you'd almost think I wasn't welcome. <laughs> and they say princes have no sense of humor. <laughs> well, I can see there's no putting you off. For Cassina's sake, I wish you luck. I'll be here if there's anything you need. Thanks, Jalo. Time for the switcheroo. I've been thinking of what you said about swapping a replica for the genie's lamp. I got this lamp from the old lamp seller in town. Do you think it will pass? Why, yes! It's an exact replica! That's amazing! How did you guess? I suppose it was intuition. Hmm. 
I'll have to wait for the right moment, mind you. But I should be able to get close enough to swap this for the real thing. And none shall be the wiser. Now you shall see Jalo's skill. I'm sure your hands are mightier than my sword, my clever friend. <laughs> Go ahead and do as you've planned. And let me worry about swapping the lamp. If I accomplish the trickery, I'll manage to get the lamp to you somehow. You never fear. I have faith, Jolo. You are a true friend. Aw, oh, shucks. I'd do anything for the princess. I'm gonna stop here. I'm tired. Finish this up later. I'm close to finishing, though. I just have a few more things to do. But I think we'll stop here. Save. Quit. Taking off your adventurer's cap so soon? Yep. Anyway, I'll finish this another day. Make this a three-part series. If you watched, I appreciate it. Thank you.